Hey guys, good morning. I'm just finishing up my chess PC and listening to some music. I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, so I have been uh, for the last half hour trying to get through the rest of my um, therapy to finish my, my nebulizers and my sugar keeps on dropping. So uh, that's a little bit of an issue of being a CF diabetic is uh, sometimes you can't always get your, um, excuse me, your nebulizers and your chest PT done the time that you would like because other things come into play like your sugar. So um, my sugar for some reason is dropping. It could be because the IVs are working, thank God, and clearing up the infection. So when there's less infection, um, your sugar numbers tend to not rise and they come down, which is a good sign. And it could also be because a saline is running and diluting my blood a little bit. So that could also be helping with bringing my sugar down. So I'm not sure which one it is, but it's a good thing that I need less insulin. I just have to um, prepare myself a little bit better tomorrow. And that's as long as I run the saline at the same time, which I probably will do to help keep um, some consistency. So... Um, and that's obviously also as long as I'm eating the same foods. If I have something a lot more sugary tomorrow, then we can't um, really base it off of that. So I, um, I'm having a sugar party over here. I had juices, sour patch, and I am lingering in the 80s, so that is good. I'm not low, low, but if I didn't do that, I would be on the floor dropped like a fly. So, um, yeah, so hopefully... I can get my nebulizers now and finish up and uh, that will be good. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I don't always, I never really show that. So that's the side of things that you guys don't really always see. And uh, those are things that just pop up at any time during the day. So, um, yeah. Guys, so Rosario's working. It is... After 9 o'clock at night, 9.15, I um, got back from Costco about a half hour ago with my mother. We went shopping, and we got some goodies, and now I'm just going to make some shrimp teriyaki for dinner. All right, well, I got a little olive oil spray on the bottom of this nice ceramic nonstick pan, some zucchini, some yellow squash, and carrots. And then I'm going to add um, some uh, mushrooms and then the shrimp, the shrimp teriyaki, and I'm going to throw some teriyaki sauce on there in a few minutes. And then some garlic powder with that. That is it done. Now I cut the shrimp in there. We got the brown rice in here. In another five minutes, we'll be ready to be eaten. Hi, so it's bedtime, Rosario. Uh, Got home from work, had dinner, and he just uh, headed up to bed. But um, he was really sweet of him. He uh, left me a little note. And um, yes, around here we leave notes on napkins sometimes. <laughs> Even though we have so much paper. I don't know, it's just something we do. And um, he got all my pills ready for me. So, uh, see, he's got them waiting. So thank you, honey. That was very nice of you. And he also has my nebulizers all cleaned and if you guys could see them, but they're on my tray waiting to be used in the morning. So thank you again for doing that. I really appreciate that, my love. And um, yeah, tomorrow I have a couple of doctor's appointments. So we'll be up, well, Rosario's always up bright and early, but I'll be up bright and early. And um, I'll be doing my uh, all my meds and everything and getting ready for that. So that way Rosario gets back from his morning bus run after dropping the kids at school. We could head out to Manhattan and go to the appointments and uh, make it back so he could get back to work in time. And um, thank God his schedule and everything works out with our appointments because I don't know how else we would do it because uh, everyone else works. So it would be really tough to make it to um, appointments and everything. Because um, all my doctors have daytime appointments, nobody has 
appointments at night, so that would be really tough. So uh, I'm very thankful for his job and uh, how it works with our schedule. Thank God, so that's awesome. So um, I have to test my sugar now and um, I may eat a little something and then I can take my uh, miracle drug and the rest of my pill concoction that I have over here. And, um, <clears throat> and then I think I'm gonna put my cephaly on my head. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is, um, it's a migraine therapy that um, it works on the nerves and uh, helps eliminate migraine headaches. So uh, yeah, so for me we use it as a preventative so it helps with that and um, yeah, that's really it. So I do that at bedtime. So that takes about 20 minutes and a lot of times I fall asleep with it on my head. It's an electric stem and it's sort of relaxing. So I'm going to do that and uh, yeah, so hopefully I will get some rest and I will see you guys in the morning and um, we'll give you guys an update. About what goes on at my follow-up uh, CF appointment tomorrow. It's also um, one week on IV antibiotics and almost a week on the new um, Vertex medication that says a catheter, if a catheter drug combination. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens with that. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. So we just finished at the doctor appointments and look at that beautiful tree. This is so picturesque. We got some good news too. Pretty park. Oh, this is the park we've been wanting to visit for two years. So pretty. All right, I'll face the camera towards us. Two years? You mean more like seven years? Yeah, oh. look how beautiful. Whoop. The bridge and the water and everything. And my easy pass. How's it get that in there? Here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. We got home a little while ago from the doctor. Rosario headed back to work, and I am just um wrapping some uh, Christmas presents. And I was listening to some Casting Crown music. Those of you who don't know, that's um, Christian music. And um, we had some amazing results today at the doctor. And uh, just listening to music and everything, it sort of hit me. And I don't know if we share that side of things with you guys, but um, emotionally it hit me. And these, I kind of had some tears. And they are tears of joy. So, um, I'm just very thankful with the way my appointment went today. I gained five pounds in pretty much seven days, less than a week, six days rather. And um, my lung function went, we couldn't do the PFTs last week, but from two weeks ago, I think I was even lower last week than two weeks ago. And from two weeks ago, I was 56%. And today I was 64%. And that's only one week of IVs and one week of the new combination drug and uh, normally it takes about two weeks for my IVs to really work and two weeks for the combination drug from what I hear 
it's really be in full effect so it's just amazing and I just can't thank God enough for for just placing these medications in my life and um, it's a blessing it really really is and um, I'm just I'm overwhelmed with uh, just having these blessings in my life and um, it's just been a rough uh, this past year has just been a lot so I really feel blessed after today mm -hmm. Checking your port. Yeah, uh, it's there's water under there actually. Shit. 